Hi everyone, my name is Itamar Blauer and in this short video I'm going to be showing you how you can update your keyword research using SEMrush and also the VLOOKUP formula for Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. So let's say that you've done your keyword research a while back and you used the keyword magic tool from SEMrush and you've selected your keywords, you've exported them and you've got yourself an Excel sheet here with the keywords, you've got your keyword difficulty, the competition and the search volume. And then what do you wanna do really when it comes to keyword research? Something that a lot of people don't do is they don't consider updating their keyword research or at least getting updated figures for search volume more specifically over time. And you ideally wanna do this maybe around once per quarter, just to kind of be able to see how the keyword search volume has been evolving over time, whether it's been going up or down, and that can be really important to find trends in order to determine which keywords you should be focusing on more to try and rank. So let's say we've got this here, and let's suppose that this data here is just dummy data that I've put in, and let's say that we've set that to be for December of last year. And let's say we wanna do an updated amount for this, and we want the updated search volume for now. So a really cool thing with SEMrush is going into the keyword overview tool and then selecting bulk analysis. And when you're in bulk analysis, you can enter up to 100 keywords and then it will tell you the updated volumes for them, updated data about these keywords. So all you have to do essentially is take your list, copy them, paste them in here and analyze. And once you've analyzed them, this is the updated data for these keywords. So what you want to do here is you want to export them all into a CSV. And then once that has finished downloading, you open it up here. And this is where we start the VLOOKUP formula. And what this is going to do is it's going to be displaying the updated search volume, which is what we want on this column right here. And I've just added a new tab at the top just for the volume for, let's say, March 2021. So what we want to do here is you want to start off with an equal sign and do VLOOKUP and then open brackets. Then you want to be selecting the column A here because this is the keyword that we're looking for. And then you want to do a comma. Then with the table array and move over to the CSV we've just exported. And I'm going to be highlighting the columns A and B. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm just looking for the volume based on the keywords that are here. So I do that. And once those are highlighted, you go back into the main sheet here, add another comma. Then it's asking for the index number. And here I'm gonna put number two. As you can see, the first one here is keyword. The second one here is volume. So that's why I've put two there because we want this second column data to show up. And then after that, we do a comma and then put false, which is the exact match because that's exactly what we want to see. And then it will say it may spill beyond the edges potentially, but doesn't matter. So that's come up and then we just double click at the bottom right here and it will give us the updated search volume figures. Now, what I like to do here is copy this, right click and paste those values. So that way, if anything changes with the CSV you downloaded, nothing is gonna change about your data. But this is a great way that you can use SEMrush and the VLOOKUP formula to get your updated keyword research search volumes. If you wanna do this every month, you can do it. If you wanna do this every quarter, every half a year, every year, it doesn't matter. This is just a great way to be able to see what the trends are looking like with the keywords that you're targeting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like rating below. That would really help me out. I've been into Mob Lauer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, you've reached the end of this video, but don't worry, there's plenty more great content that you can watch right now. All you have to do is click one of the two video links on the left side of the screen. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on future uploads.